Now the morning looks good, but last night, this was a little shoppy here. I woke up like five, six times last night. I'm gonna make breakfast so I can head out. It is 6.30 in the morning. Today for breakfast, I'm going to make some bacon, potato, some mushrooms, and some eggs for breakfast. Alright, so this is my breakfast, two eggs, potatoes, bacon, and two mushrooms, and I'm making a blueberry pancake. Mushrooms for breakfast. Mmm, tastes really good. Before I go, I want to make sure if I can be around the caves here. I would love to explore a little bit here, but I'll check out the weather to see if it's a good decision or not. Blueberry pancakes. Look at that. Steaming hot. Look how beautiful it looks that way. Shallow waters. Probably about a couple of inches of water there. It's gotta be close to 95 degrees. I'm running the air conditioner in the Crooked Pilot House, and if it wasn't for that, I'll be sweating, especially drinking coffee. And the sun is hitting right through that window. If you don't have air conditioning, you will suffer some terrible heat here, because it's really hot. Crop clear.
right, we're here. Check it out. All right, now I'm gonna leave this beautiful K here. And I think I'm gonna stay here tonight. I'm not going back to West End. There's a nice little squall over there. Check that the radar is not coming this way. So let's go fishing. Prop clear. We're six feet here. So hopefully tonight I'll be able to stay here, have a good night. Uh, that'll be the plan. See what happens. I got enough fuel. I got the autopilot set up already. Okay, here it is. You gotta avoid some rocks here. Autopilot's taking care of it already, so just gotta avoid some rocks around here. There it is. next to Walker's Gate that you can't fish there. U.S. Coast Guard Miami, U.S. Coast Guard Miami, this is Youth Navy P-8 on uh, Metside Button 16, 653, Metside 388 North, U.S. 79, 27, Metside 18 I wanted to head back to West End, but the weather is okay. It's not as bad. So it's worth it to stay here. This beautiful cave. I hope this is a good anchorage to sleep at night. The fishing spot from the cave that I left is about three to four miles out to the uh, Atlantic. That's the sanctuary right there in the front. It's a sanctuary. It is like, I don't know, five miles or three miles wide. But check your sharp ladder if you're going to fish here because you definitely don't want to fish there. That will be uh, a nice find to fish there. It's a beautiful day. So, really going to back to West End is it's the safest thing to do. But the weather's not bad and the fishing here is going to be great because look at the weather here. The ocean is very calm. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I can leave today before sunset. So that'll be another option, uh, which I'd rather not do, but at least I have that option. This navigation's in a small 21-foot crooked pilot house. Um, you don't know 
where you're going to be at. Depending on weather is what's going to push you. Uh, I would love to catch some nice fish. I still got plenty of fuel to get back to uh, West End. Now, if I do burn a lot of fuel and I need more fuel, I can go to Rosie's right there in the Abaco Island and get some fuel. But that's not needed. That's just in case I run out of short out of fuel. And we're going at 650 feet. It's gonna be deep. If I don't get fish here, I'm gonna go to the ledge, which I always catch fish. But we're gonna give it a try here first. First time fishing here at Abacos. And what I like about here is that there's hardly any current. It's incredible. No current here. If you go to West End, there's current everywhere. But here, no current. It's been five minutes, nothing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the ledge because if you don't find the ledge, you're not gonna find the fish. So, let's go find that ledge. All right, I found the ledge. Let's see how well I'll do here. And this ledge is about 400 feet. You gotta move around. If you spend five minutes in a spot, nothing happens, move. All right, got something right away. Look at that. That was right away at the ledge at 270 feet. Woo, this is a nice one. Hopefully I can get it before the sharks get to it. I see color. Woo. Look at that beautiful fish. There's a lot of fish at the ledge. See right there, I think it's biting already. There it is. There it is. There you go. Got another one. Look at that. That's a good one. I hope the shark don't get it. Come on. This is a big fish and I hope the shark don't get to it. Woo! Let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Look at this. Yeah, God. Look at this beautiful fish really don't know what it is. I'm gonna check it out now to see what it is. All right, I got one real big here. That one is big. That one is real big. And I lost it. I lost it. All right, this time I got it. It doesn't feel like a shark. I already tried to get that fish a couple of times and he has snagged off. So finally I got him. Oh my goodness. Look at that, humongous, beautiful fish. Got another one. It cannot be that big, but it's pulling. I'm fishing right now at 300 and plus feet. dinner tonight.
another one. But this one doesn't feel this one doesn't feel that big. Okay, there's only some small little fish. Just a little grunt. That means I gotta move a little forward. I got another one, and this one is big, and it's not a shark. Definitely it's not a shark. It would have pulled. It's burning my reel. It's really fighting with my reel. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, I lost it. That was a big fish, and I lost it. There's a little shower there. Let's see where it's going. That's a big shower right there. And it's coming towards this way. That big cluster right there. I don't see any lightning. Look at that. I was looking at the uh, at the radar and I had a fish. It's a nice fish. And I hope the shark don't get to it. It is a shark. Whatever it was, I lost it already. It took the hook with it. Alright, that this coming there, that's uh, a little ugly. So I'm just gonna go get the anchors right now. Alright. Yep. That looks pretty dark there. The anchor is going to be over there. I'm going to get everything ready, head over there now. You hear that? That's the first lighting. Brad clear! That's the first lighting. That's when we got to get out of here. Alright guys, I will continue this trip on the next video. Thank you for watching. And if you did like this video, please thumb it up. And always navigate safe.